welcome to my channel. My name is Makima Deshawn and I'm so glad that I am back after a long hiatus and I will tell you why in this video and also this video is being um, is half voiceover half speaking um, because my daughters wanted to talk at this time so with that being said let's get into the video right now I'm just going in with a little lip oil from LA girl LA girl yeah and I got this from the Dollar Tree actually and it's really good and I'm going in with my Juvia's Place palette. I said I was going in with both of them, but I'm just going in with the Culture 2 palette. Then I'm going in with the L'Oreal um, primer, new primer that they came out with. And this is the matte variation. I'm going through my brows just to get the, and you can see my little puppy in the back of my mirror. <laughs> yeah, he was like, Mama, what are you doing? So um, at this time, like I said, I'm doing my brows and it's nothing, you know, just line, um, line, outlining the top and bottom and then going in and just, you know, you know how to do it. You guys are extremely intelligent people. Now I'm going in with my uh, Smashbox and Becca. Um, this is the first time I'm trying this product and I went in with way too much. So you don't need to use this much people. Like I said, I have been gone for a long time and whew, wait till I get to the blush. But this is what's going on now. So I'm just putting that under my under eyes to help with the dark circles. Okay, for my foundation, I'm going in with the Cover Girl Matte Made. And I love this um, foundation. I, I mean, it is a, it is matte. It's medium to full coverage, um, but it just looks so good on the skin. And it doesn't, you know, I mean, I really love this foundation. And the color match is pretty good as well. And I'm just continuing to blend this in. And like I said, this is a good foundation. And I, I'm in the color D8. The color is called Happy Hour. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Going in with my Uma Beauty um, double ended pencil, and I'm just going to use the this side. So, where I've been, I have uh, a lot of things have happened. I have it all started with. I guess three people in a five family, five person family getting COVID. And then of course I was having lupus flare ups and fibromyalgia flare ups. If you don't know, I do have lupus and fibromyalgia and it was, it was one of those days. It was one of those days. So I, um, and then after that, I had shoulder surgery and I am one month off of my so shoulder surgery. So that's where I've been. That's why I haven't made any videos. If you've been wondering. So I'm still recovering from my so shoulder surgery and that's why I sometimes I have to put my my arm on the arm of the chair um, because it's still not strong enough like I want it um, uh, the pain's been okay it's been better than than it has been and believe it or not it's better than it was before I had the surgery. Before I had my um, 
shoulder surgery. I, um, it was, oh my gosh, it, I was just in so much pain. I think it's so much better than, than it was. Um, I know it is for a fact. Um, it would wake me up at night. It still does now, but it's not as bad. And of course, I still have those days um, where it's just not a good day. Where did I put my brush? Okay, I'm just, right now I'm just uh, blending that concealer. And that concealer was from Minted. And it's a new concealer they had. Um, it's been out for a few months. But I'm just taking that and taking my foundation brush that I use. And I'm just trying to blend that concealer and everything in. Beauty Bakery powder under my eyes for today. That's what I'm using. And this is what I just used by Beauty Bakery, and it's in the color. Almond, almond chestnut. I don't know if you can see that. That's the color. There we go. That's the color it's in. And to set my whole face, I'm going to take my brush here, my fluffy brush, and I'm going in with my infallible pressed powder. And this is in the color 370 Mocha. Right now I'm just going back in with my eyebrow gel just to make sure if any powder happened to get into my eyebrows. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my bronzer. Uh, this is from Uma Beauty and it is in the color brown sugar and this is what it looks like this is new and luckily like maybe maybe two weeks after this came out it went on sale and I grabbed it so and this is in the color brown sugar I'm gonna put some of that on let's see where I'm, where I'm going with Next, I'm going in with my two Julia places. This one is new, but this one I've had. And this is in the color, let's see, Oral. I'm 49, people. I need my breathing glasses. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> this is in this color. And I'm trying to read it. What is this color? Coral Kiss? Yes, it's Coral Kiss. So it's like an orangey, you know, um, ugh, it's so hard to get this arm up there. Um, it's like an orangey color. And this is what that looks like. Yeah, <laughs> but it's very pigmented. So that's why it looks like that. So I'm just gonna go back in. Okay, everyone. Remember when I said about the uh, blush application in the front of the in the front of the bit video this is what I'm talking about and I left it in because hey I over apply you do not need this much blush but yeah so it continues so that's what's been going on that's why I haven't been for a couple months and like I said family got COVID thank God I did not get it again I've already had it twice and no more 
no more I've used a lot of blush people <laughs> you don't need this much okay like I said as you can see this is way too much blush OMG I look like a clown but I left it in and all you need to do is go in back with your powder and and lighten that down some but yeah this is ridiculous <laughs> For my highlight, I'm going in with the uh, Whitney Houston from MAC, and this is in Just Whitney. This is how she looks. It's going to get a little bit because it's pigmented as well. But this is such pretty highlight. And it's a subtle one. Okay, now I'm going in with, I'm going to be using both of my palettes, and I will let you know which one I'm using. But first, I'm going in with the Culture 2 palette, which looks like this. Um, for my upper brow, I'm going in the color Palm Kennel, and it's a light brown color. Okay, next I'm going in with Soweto, and that's a darker brown color. And I'm using that for for my crease color. And since it's fall, I want to do a fall color. dashiki right here and I'm going to work that with the same brush mind you and I'm going to work that and I, that's why I blending brush and just blend this on up here. Take a little bit of that palm kennel, the lighter shade, and I'm just going to blend that in and help blend. Uh, we're going to go in with this color right here. Doo-doo, uh, this dark um, green color, and I'm gonna put that in my crease, uh, my outer color. That's <laughs> not outer color. My, you know, right here. My using the same brush that I cleaned off. I have a towel. I'm going to use this brighter green. I can see it. Okay. I'm going to use this green right here called Motherland. This is 
Matchbox um, setting spray. I'm going to I'm going to use Joss. I believe that's what it's called, Joss. And I'm going to put that in the center of the lid. Come on, I just had to, guys. I mean, it's just staring me smack in the face. It's a pretty color. Oh, that's the first color I went to when I got this palette too. Woo. I will use that. Okay, I'm going in with this Ulta Beauty brush, and this is a big brush, so. can't see it can you? oh you see that and it's like a dual chrome it's, oh my gosh even here it's picking up that blue and it's turning the blue green yellow come on now okay okay getting it silent all right let's see let's see what it's gonna do guys Let's see what it's going to do. Okay, I'm going in with a clean brush and I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna just blend it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna take a little bit of that dashiki color. And I usually don't pack my brushes off, but in this instance, oh, that's so pretty. Right, yeah. I gotta go in the inner corner. And so let's see what color we're gonna go in with. And we're gonna go in with Baltic. This color right here. darker green color that I have on my outer corner and I'm taking that under on my lower lash line as well okay now for mascara I'm going in with that new uh, mascara from L'Oreal I don't have my that in front of me right now but I will do my best to list everything down below in the description box For my lips, really simple. I'm going in with my Fenty Gloss, and this is in the color Riri. I don't know if you can see that, but this is Riri. So this is the final look. I love how it turned out. And once again, I thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Um, yeah, and I'm glad to be back. And prayerfully, I won't have any more long hiatus things. But like I said, I am still recuperating and I ask that you keep me in your prayers. And once again, I love how this look turned out and that green eyeshadow is so pretty. And yes. And don't forget to check out my DIY channel, McCamus Creations, and I will link that down below as well. I ask that you stay safe, keep your loved ones close, and remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. God bless. Until next time, YouTube.